of the most difficult aspects of trading is to determine the trend. In this case, we will use a certain technique with the bands to help us determine the trend. Firstly, this setup requires patience and discipline, as the bands will tell us which way we are trading, either long or short. Using candlesticks for this technique is preferred, as you can see the closing price better than any other type of chart. An understanding of price support and resistance is critical for the entry, so please visit the support and resistance modules if you haven't done so already. Let's start with buys or longs. Step 1. We need the candle to clearly close above the upper Bollinger Band line. For instance, like here. The closing price has closed above the upper band line. Please note here, if you look closely, the closing price of these candles have not closed above the upper band. Only their wicks have gone above the band, but the actual candles have closed below the upper band. So this occurring is critical, as the part of the first criteria of the trade has been met. Once we clearly see that the green candle has closed above the upper band, we must ensure that when this occurred, that a new high was also generated. For example, when the candle closed above the upper band, we also had price generate a new high. This is critical, as this part of the setup defines the direction of the trade, and that is to go long once these two elements of the trade have been met. Just to repeat that step one more time, once the candle closes above the upper band, we must ensure that in the process a new high has also been generated. Step two is to look for a specific entry point so we know when to buy. This is where previous price highs and lows come into play as these are the points we need to use as reference to execute the order. When step one has been confirmed here, we need to wait for the market to retrace back to a previous high. Find a relevant high to use then execute the buy order. For example, here. Price has acted as a magnet and retraced back to these previous price highs, paused, and continued to move higher in the uptrend. A stop loss can be tight below the previous high levels, and new highs can be targeted in terms of a profit point. Let's take a look at a sell or short trade. Let's highlight the candle that closed below the lower band, here in this example. As you can see, the market is trending down, and this red candle has closed well below the lower band. Furthermore, a new low has also been established, as you can see when we compare this low to the previous low. Once this part of the trade criteria has been met, we understand we are looking for an entry point to go short. We need to look for previous lows to act as resistance to define the entry. As you can see, we will use this low here, and once the price retraces back to this point, a sell order can be taken. A stop loss is placed back above the entry at a point of tolerance, for example, just here, and a profit target to be placed at new lows. With this technique, we are defining the trend via the Bollinger Bands, then using price levels as a form of entry and exit. If we scroll through the chart, it is evident that these setups occur over and over. Here are some further examples of these trades. In essence, trading with Bollinger Bands can help determine specific trade setups. It's up to us as traders to understand the purpose of them 
and to apply them in a manner that will ensure